Hello, here is Kivana. In this video, I want to show you how to make a steampunk hat. This is the one I made for the Wave Gothic Treffen 2015. You can make various kinds of hats. Just give them different kind of decorations. These are the things that you will need. First of all, a camping mat out of foam rubber for the main part of the hat. You will also need a pen, a ruler, tape, scissors and a geometry compass. Moreover, you should have some sheets of paper and a measurement band. For this type of steampunk hat, you also require some textile. I choose a brown color. And you will need some things to decorate it, like an old clockwork, buttons and parts of an old curtain. For the hat I wore at the Wave Gossip Treffen, I used foam sheets to make the little metal plates and painted the hat first black and then with some bronze color. Last but not least, you need one of the most important things, a hot glue gun. The first step is to measure the circumference of your hat. My head is around 56 cm. You should add around 2 cm to give some room for clearance. With the circumference you can calculate the diameter and the radius for drawing the patterns. If you don't have a big enough paper sheet for the pattern just glue some pieces together. I think for this hat, four paper sheets should always be the right number, unless you make a small hat for your child or a doll. Next mark the center of the circle and then mark one or two dots for the radius of your hat. Make another dot a bit further outside to create a second bigger circle for the brim. Then use the geometry compass to draw the two circles. Afterwards cut out the bigger circle. Then careful cut out the inner circle so that you have now two patterns. Depending on your head size glue two or three paper sheets together to form the side of your head. The circumference of your head is the length of the long side of the paper sheets. So in my case it would normally be 56 cm. But I made my head bigger to fit over my hair piece. The other side of the paper sheets determine how high your head will be. Cut the side pattern for your head as well and then we can start with the camping mattress. Lay the pattern on it and draw on the mattress. Then cut out the first part of the head. Afterwards we can start with the next pattern. Be a bit careful when you cut out the inner circle, especially at the start, so that you don't make a big hole. As you can tell, the head is too big for me, but when I put my hairpiece on, it is just right. Now that we have all the head pieces, we can start gluing them together. Use an underlay so that you don't mess up your table. Put some glue on the inside of the brim piece and glue the side piece to it before the glue dries. Work your way around the entire circle. When you glue the side piece inside the brim piece, your hat will get a bit smaller. If you didn't add some extra centimeters to your circumference, you should glue the side piece on top of the brim piece. The 
The final step is to glue the top piece onto the side piece. And now we have a plain pink head. It's time to decorate the head now. For this type I used some brown textile. First of all cut around the top piece. You don't need to be too accurate because you will cover up the ends anyways. Then use some pins to pin the texture to the side of your head. And try out how the texture folds best. Cut away the texture that is too much. Then glue the texture step by step to the head. First the top piece and then the side piece. For this you should take out one pin after the other. Where the side piece meets, glue it to the head as well. Then glue it to the brim. Use an old curtain for the inside of the head. Cut and form it in a way you like it and then use the hot glue gun again. If needed, use a needle and some thread to make some stitches to give the texture a better shape around the head. I used some stitches around the brim. Then we can start with the small decorations. I used some parts of the old curtain and a clockwork to decorate my head. Afterwards, I also glued some buttons onto it and a little bit of the old curtain. Just put onto it whatever you want. And then we are done. Maybe you want to try this out on your own. I would love to see some of your results.